will see momentarily, you will see the incredible amount of teamwork that it takes to conduct a hoisting evolution. So thank you, we're gonna wait just a minute. They are circling, this is Bay Credit Union, want you to have a fantastic day today and they also want to Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes. They're gonna make one more pass from your right to your left. Let's give the United States Coast Guard a huge round of applause. Be sure to wave as they come by. I promise you, they can see you. Coast Guard Air Station Houston's commanding officer, Captain Ryan Matson, and the men and women of the Coast Guard Air Station Houston. It's an honor to serve you and the Houston community. One more, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up one more time for the United States Coast Guard. Becky, I think we're going to do something completely different. What do you think? I think we are. We're going to go to change this up a little bit. We're going to have a father-son team, Shane and John McGillis, flying a pair of identical extra 330LX aircraft. They're going to come in, and they're also local, actually based in aircraft right here at Ellington Field. Has anyone ever heard of the great oyster bar in Kiva called Gileani or Gilead? Uh, what's it called? Here in just a second. Right now, Spanky, they are on the runway going through their final checks, making sure everything is set and ready for this demonstration. They the aircraft maneuvers high and to your left for their first pass that will be coming back towards show center. While they maneuver, I'd like to share some facts about this aircraft. The C-17 has made its first flight in September of 1991. Since then, this aircraft has set over 30 world records, including payload to altitude, time to climb, and the longest airdrop in history. The new H design includes a modern computerized glass cockpit, heads-up display at both stations, and an advanced cargo handling system, allowing it to operate with a crew half the size of a smaller cargo aircraft. The crew will now perform a high-speed pass from your... to how quiet they are. From the left, the C-17. and the short field landing potential of the much smaller C-130. You see the aircraft circling to your right, ladies and gentlemen, as they prepare to come back by. The C-17 is powered by four Pratt & Whitney F-117 engines. These are the same engines used on the Boeing 757. Each engine takes very short distances. Look close as it comes by from the right. Folks, you're going to want to get your cameras out. This will be your best opportunity to take photo. operation of flight controls. This is combined with four separate flight control computers, each capable of controlling the entire aircraft independently. The system is designed to optimize the capabilities of the C-17, yet maintain enough redundancy. Fully loaded, this aircraft weighs over 580,000 pounds. As you can see, the C-17 is extremely by an additional maneuverability capability for this aircraft when they're at low speed and as they turn, each one of these feel for the size as it comes back by from the right. Check out that wing. Look at those nine foot tall winglets as they come by. You would like literally get like. This aircraft can 
flight anywhere in the world non-stop using its air-to-air -air refueling capability. Air Force personnel routinely fly 24-hour missions with a single crew. The most basic crew complement required to operate the C-17 is merely two pilots and one loadmaster. A heavy-duty landing gear allows it to land on surfaces such as cement, sand, dirt, and even ice. Lastly, all current Air Force crews are trained with the use of night vision goggles or NVGs, allowing them to operate while in unlit, austere locations. Globemaster 3, the United States Air Force's core airlifter and workhorse, which will continue to provide rapid global mobility for America today, tomorrow, and well into the 21st century. I don't know about you, Spanky, but that is absolutely spectacular. That is a new definition of stole.